happy. Happy Monday. Starting up today. Final Fantasy V. Hey, Kami, how's it going? I saw some hot stuff about Final Fantasy XIV. No Red 13 mount, which is good. I don't think we actually want to shop here anymore. Blew up the fire crystal a little bit ago. Everything becomes more expensive. Bravely second, yeah, hell yes, thank god. Um, I'll probably play Bravely Default on stream maybe two months before the they finally announce the actual release date. Let's see. Should we, can I get another full moon? I might just get another full moon. Well, Guardian's better, so we'll stick with that. See in the front row. I'd, I'd better have my 3DS capture card by uh, Bravely second release day, whatever it ends up being. Hey Joe Man, how's it going? Ninja OP! I don't know if I actually want Gale to be a Geomancer for long, I don't remember if it's particularly good or not. It's comparable to uh, Mog's dance ability, Final Fantasy VI. <laughs> hey, Burner. Sounds good! I'm really relieved that Bravely Second is getting a US release. I was pretty worried about that. We had a window there where just about everything was getting a US release, and then kind of went back into this mode of, let's not do that. Pretty stoked today, we're starting Mass Effect 2, picking up from our save game of Mass Effect 1 that we beat on last Friday. Holy shit! Alright, so, uh, can we not fight this guy? I'm gonna die and have to load my save here, he's pretty buff. Hey, Joe Man, thanks for the host. Appreciate that. As much as it pisses off my game. <laughs> Just need to run from this dude, yeah? I don't know how many hit points he has. Yeah, wasn't worth it. Let me give it another shot at the sound thing. I can do playback right now, it's already maxed out, so that's not the problem. Yeah, I don't know what causes that, but it's not that bad, so I've heard worse. Tried changing the sound driver. <laughs> Go for it, Joe Man. No, it's an incentive to follow, right? Follow and host. Screw up the game audio. <laughs> All right, I should probably use a uh, a tent. That Camaro would be nice if we did fight it, because I believe that it teaches you Aqua Breath, which is quite good. Given up on the Witcher. Are you starting with the first one or are you playing with Witcher 3? Like I've mentioned, I haven't played the Witcher at all. I've heard that the first one has a really, really slow opening, but it gets good much later in the game. Gotcha. 
Yeah, it's the Chimera with Aqua, Lung, Aqua Breath. I it's, it's very hard though, I might need to train up before I can fight it. It almost one-shot the whole party. I ended up having to run away from it. We have a party of all ninjas for dual wield. It's a cool song. Ancient library. And it is Dr. Sid's grandson. I use this uh, map in my Dungeons and Dragons game. This represents a little college. Use this song too. There are enemies in here. Oh, I see. She have passages. I always switch that back later. I can't dash with without the ability equipped. Uh, page enemies come back in Final Fantasy IX. In fact, I think it's that same enemy. Page 64, you fight in Final Fantasy IX. Cool, Kami. Go for it. Came from behind. Look how funky the bass is in this song. Yeah, so this uh, tradition is carried on into at least Final Fantasy Tactics, where the Geomancy ability is Will-O-Wisp when you're indoors. Shepard, Rex, AD Rock. Oh man! Kami, that's exactly what we wanted! That's, uh, care of your wife. Awesome. <laughs> uh, I'll have to- th I'll put that on the, uh, the page in some way. Try to get her some referrals. That's really rad. <laughs> Has your wife thought about doing, um, sketching on Twitch? I've got a couple friends who do- the game is creative where they'll do uh, art live. Kind of a nice way to get um, referrals and business. That's friggin' rad. Awesome. I like the scythe has a little Moogle gem pond at the bottom there. Ow. Got any ice rods? That would be great. Holy shit, stop attacking while I'm in- oh, I'm in active now. Crap. Okay. Move faster. Die. Gotta turn active off. I think I turned it on for the run out of the building mission. Yeah. Let's see if I can ice two him to death. It's okay, we saved right outside, so.
Immigration? U.S. to Canada or vice versa? Yeah, I'm gonna die. That's okay. We can be prepared next time. We didn't really find all that much stuff in here. I like the Eifert, or the Ifrit graphic in this game. Okay. Round two. Uh, how's about we turn off active? There we go. Turn the battle speed down a little bit. And other than that, I think we're good. Cool. We know about mid, Sid's grandson, great, don't care, got more important stuff going on right now, namely heading downstairs. I think I want Galef to be a black mage, question mark? No, let's make him a summoner, actually. A summoner with, uh, black. You can summon Shiva, I'm sure that will be convenient. Doing. This should be a little bit faster. I'm super rad, man. Page 256 is the max bit value for 8-bit, I think. Sixteen bit is sixty-five five thirty-five. Or sixty-five five thirty-six, I guess, depending on if you start from zero. <laughs> Remember learning that in uh, computer science class, being like, I know those numbers. Playing video games all life. Kami, would she mind if I rehost that to Imager? I guess she's got a watermark on it. Um, I might throw the Imager link in here now and then when my FF6 fan buddies see it. I'll have to send it to Apex, too. He was there for that mob casting death successfully like 20 times in a row. <laughs> super, super, super cool. I'll put that on a t shirt. I'm buying Cafe Press. It's under commission money. Isn't that awesome? It's so cool. Didn't I just get through here? Hmm. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Cool. Uh, go to that Reddit thread. I think it's in the upcoming games section. It's a, it's already a pretty long list, so can't make any promises about the stuff I'll get to sooner rather than later. But uh, I'm certainly, you know, planning right now to stream indefinitely and get to everything on that list. Smoke, I think, is the auto run. What did I get through here before? Am I just crazy? Did I not just get through here? Or did I, oh, I think I did something up here. I see. That was fancy. I'm so fancy. Alright, I think we're ready for this. Uh, just do it. 
Dude's pretty nasty. We don't really have any way to deal with his fire attack aside from just spam healing. He's a serious boss. We'll throw a shuriken at him. Shoot a kid. Put a red mage on cure 2, the whole party duty. Bad. I agree that throw is a bad command because it uh, uses up items, but like, it does so much damage. It's, it's actually pretty well tuned in this game. It should do lots of damage, and it does make up for the fact that it consumes items. I'm never going to be throwing Excalibur at the boss, I'm sorry. Hell yeah! There we go, round two, Ifrit. Easy mode primal. Hell yeah! This song is so cool. I especially like the part where it like breaks down. We'll see if we get to hear it. I don't think that, I don't know if there's a song where you search every time you get out of battle or not. It's as far as we can go for now? Question mark. <laughs> Might be true. Yeah, that's true. Oh, never mind. Thanks, Efrit. You're looking out, bro. We're gonna level Ninja for Lena until we unlock uh, dual wield, and then we might do Thief. Oh, stupid. Perils of Memory mode. Um, then we'll do Thief with dual wield, just to have the passive passages and dash until we master a Thief. The goal then being switching Lena eventually to a freelancer. Or a mime, because I think that mimes, like freelancers, inherit all the passive abilities of jobs that have been mastered. I don't remember, is there an AP cheese enemy in this game? Is there like, late in the game, is there someone you can go to just farm ability points? Oh god! Oh, I thought I would fall off the edge there. Guess not. <laughs> nice. I might be going into this dungeon prematurely, like I think I can go up and talk to somebody upstairs first, but we'll see I guess. Now, I believe the way that these fights work is it like triggers a page change based on the number of damage that you deal. I'm not 100% sure, it's been a while. do too, too much grinding on stream. Gotcha. wonder if I can find a, a 
sprite artist to like do that exact uh, image, but do it in the form of a sprite too. And then I could make a beat sprite of it and put it on the wall. I think I'm definitely gonna get a see if I can get a T-shirt with it. That would be really cool. Yeah, I don't need to farm uh, AP right now, but it's something I'd think about doing it in-game. Okay, save Ifrit, that's cool. We'll come back here, though, in a sec and explore the rest of this place first. Oh, I mean, there's not too much else to explore. We'll see. Yeah, I was curious what the, the end game AP farming is. I'm probably not going to do any active farming until the end game. Might try to top off a few jobs when we get to the end. I really, I, one of the main reasons I love the job system so much is that if you feel like you get a tangible benefit for every battle you get into, you're slowly progressing your jobs, whereas level gains don't really feel tangible because the enemies tend to be scaling up along with you. Um, I don't think the Materia system in 7 does a great job of this, because you require so much AP to level up the Materia, you don't really start seeing Materia leveling up until you're like into Disc 2. At that point you have much better options. I feel like they could have done a better job with uh, Materia advancements, reaching the numbers a little bit. Materia abilities themselves were cool in general. Let's see, I feel like there's... I see another door back there, but I don't know if it's accessible yet. I have passages turn on. So I'm willing to admit this now that I've beaten it legit. <laughs> but, uh, I don't think... I'm pretty sure that of the 20 times I've played Final Fantasy VI, easily 19 of them were with a Game Genie as a kid. And I grew out of cheating in games around the PS1 era. Or it, it wasn't fun anymore to cheat stuff. But I would usually... The, the code that I would use was... Um, random item drops, I think it was. So you could get, like, the Ultima Weapon or the Illumina from the first enemy you'd kill. Chest looks like it's a close, but it's not. It's just a flaw of the dark system. Yeah, the, the grind to master all the jobs isn't particularly exciting. It would be nice if it was tuned in a way that you could legitimately master the job just by playing the game and not running from any random battles. Or maybe not master all the jobs, maybe they need to give people who like grinding some kind of sync for that. <laughs> nice. I got my tips and tricks by going to Walgreens and like writing it on my hand. Because we couldn't afford magazines as a kid. Pretty sure I beat Simon's Quest and the original Metroid by looking at Nintendo Powers in the aisle at uh, Walgreens magazine aisle. Kneel at the lake? Are you kidding me? Hey, it's mid. What's up, buddy? Bad feeling about this. Iblos. Just do it with word book. Ooh, I hope he has learning turned on. He will learn that as a useful skill in many Final Fantasies. Mm -hmm. Could have been better, but okay. Take a stab and guess that he's weak against fire damage. Try casting fire just to make sure that I'm not about to cast infrared. Yeah, good enough. Turn me into a toad, dude. I ain't even trying to hear that. Oh, yeah, D Rock? Yeah, I'll do it Wednesday. Uh, Wednesday will be Splatoon Day, I think. From 12 to 3. If you have it, we'll play it with viewers. So, how have they. How has it improved from the test fire? 
uh, D-Rock? Like, what, what stuff is in it now that was not in the test fire? God, Magic Short is OP as hell. You're OP as hell. Um... Shh. I think he has learning. Let's see. Kim and Ferris have it. Ouch. Uh, interesting, Dirac. And screen flash boss battle. They want metal. Oh, that's interesting. It's kind of a cool idea to keep maps relevant. Cool, we got magic hammer. Voice. Okay, let me review who all has learning. He does for sure. She does. Uh, I think it might just be butts, but that's okay. Um, I think it's redundant for him to have black magic, but he can't do red or white because we haven't leveled those chops high enough. I feel like I could make him a red mage for a little bit. Well, let me let me test that theory first. Yeah, so let's uh, let's make him into a red. Let's keep him a red mage because it's useful. Let's keep learning, and let's make Galef into a red mage as well, just to learn it and give him a uh, summon. Why not? Let him cast if if it for now. Oh, cool! Is the single player campaign any good? Even paying attention. There's a big battle behind him. Next mid. We need to know that sooner. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm sure it's great. <laughs> have you checked out Splatoon yet, Joe Man? I don't remember if you have a Wii U or not. Said give up. Come on, mid. See if they do another Final Fantasy game with uh, mid as well as Sid. About it, buddy. Can you can you move so I can investigate it? Ugh, fine. Kingdom of Amalur is the one that has um, unlockables in, what is it, Mass Effect 3? Double Red Mage!
I feel like every game needs to have a uh, transmog system. I'll tell you right now, we're going to play Mass Effect 2, and early on in the game we're going to unlock helmets um, that give you stat boosts, and I guarantee you I'm not going to be using any of them, because they don't let me see Shepard's face. I might use, like, there's like a eye scanner one, kind of like what Garrus has. I might use that. That's the limit. I got my solution for Paragon Renegade interrupts is probably going to be... First of all, I, I know what all of them are, so I've looked up where the, the interrupts are. Um, but I'll also just hit the Xbox button, which will pause the game and give people a chance to vote. I'll try to keep those votes very, very short. Um, most Paragon... most of the interrupts, like, if, if the consequence of the interrupt is just that something cool happens, I'll just go ahead and do it. A lot of the Renegade interrupts are like that. Um, but if it would have consequences for the story, then I won't touch them. Yeah, man, and you, you gotta have a hide headgear option at the minimum. Is this the only one where he's Dr. Sid? Might be true. Oh, right, we took some damage. I was like, what the hell? How we just killed up? I think they added a high head gear to Mass Effect 3. At least I don't remember being a problem in Mass Effect 3. It's explaining that the, this hide headgear notion has become a thing in, uh, in movies have to kind of suspend your disbelief and accept it. So, like, there's a big fight in Season 2 of Game of Thrones where one of the main characters really ought to have a helmet on and doesn't. But, like, just imagine, he does have a helmet on, but for the benefit of the audience, he has hide headgear checked. Okay. Give this another try. Let's get ready with the aqua breaths. Fun stuff. It's kind of... We just fought this guy in uh, Final Fantasy XIV. He was the final boss of the last dungeon we did. It was a Chimera, anyway. Great, this dude's tough. Can you use Aqua Breath, buddy? No, he's gonna do that. Unremovable helmet. Oh, yeah. Got a lot of experience for that, a lot of AVP. What didn't get was Aqua Breath, so we might give that one more try. It's good to know that it is beatable. Um, what does Image do? I love high physical text. Ooh. So that's, this is Utsusemi, is what it's called in Final Fantasy XI. It was the ability that allowed ninjas to tank. They would cast this skill, and it would nullify the next two points of damage they would take. I believe it was called Utsusemi. It was a, it's like a cicada or something, so it's like you have uh, the shell that you're molting off, basically. It's the flavor behind it. You could probably put Galef in front. That's fine. We're gonna go use a pot to raise her in a sec.
hella turtle shells in the club. Does anyone remember where Sid is chilling? Is he back in Karnak, or did he move on from there? I thought he was in Karnak still. Or maybe at the uh, the boat. We'll head up in that direction, see so if we can get another Chimera fight, learn Aqua Breath. Yeah, go for it, Burner. Uh, if you haven't played Mass Effect 2, you might want you might not want to click Burner's link. If you have, go for it. Also, thank you for asking, Burner. Disregard, okay. There it is. It's Aqua Rake in this one. It's uh, called different things in different Final Fantasies. Aqua Lung, I think is the canonical name for it. I want to say. Okay, so we're totally going to learn now. That hit everybody. There's two cure twos here. Great, some terrible either. Mm, I think it's gonna kill Lena. Yeah. Let's heal everyone else. We're gonna have to get her up because she's our big damage dealer with the dual wield. Try to do a life and then a cure two on the whole party, we'll see. As long as he doesn't aqua break one more time. That's really our last time needing to be here, so. Cool. Yeah, he was three AVP and a bunch of experience. Up here all the way. Um, is there any reason for me to continue leveling Blue Mage? Like, does it get any other abilities later on? I feel like I could just sub Blue Magic, but I guess I have to unlock that ability. Aquaric, if I recall correctly, is a pretty good skill. It's fairly cheap, it does lots of damage. You're fairly cheap and do lots of damage. Cool burner. Oh, I didn't. That link didn't work for me. I think it got mad for. Direct link, maybe? Let me try a different one. Yeah, because it's Mass Effect EU, so it's not pulling up for me. boat. Okay. Don't think he's on the boat. At least I hope he's not on the boat, because it's a very long dungeon. <laughs> he's in Karnak.
Maybe he's got a house at the top of town or something. I was able to link that one. Oh, that, that is kind of cool looking. Nice. Three different styles, pretty cool. Okay, good. Comes that mid. <laughs> Boxing his ears. Yeah, I got it to work. It looks really cool, Burner. Very nice. Plan, buddy. What y'all knuckleheads doing? Third conspiring. They're back at the ancient library. Oh, never mind. I'm glad I just stopped here. Okay. Galef. An event involving Galef is a pretty big part of the inspiration for my D and D augment campaign. I'll go over it when it happens. It's toward the end game. Storytelling method in this game is clever. Hey Matt, how's it going, man? Kami and I were just typing about Bravely Second. Matt was saying they should add a catchy mount in Final Fantasy XIV and only let Lala Fells ride them. Oh man. So they translated here as X, X death. I think it's because in the Japanese, so it's supposed to be Exodus, right? 
The Japanese say that Exodusu, Exodusu. There you go. Which certainly could be X death if you were trying to translate it back. But I think it's supposed to be Exodus. Oh, Joe, man, you should beat it. Bravely Default's such a good game. It has a really cool ending sequence too. Up there with um, Crisis Core for taking advantage of the mechanics to tell the story at the very end. It's awesome, Kami. I miss the Fire Emblem stuff. I'm a Fire Emblem noob. I've obviously played through Awakening, but that's the only Fire Emblem game I've ever played. I think you can get Bravely Default on the 3DS eShop. Yeah, that's where I got it from. Exodus. Exodus is a cool character. He uh he's kind of playing with a classic JRPG trope. Actually, that's a that's a common thread in Final Fantasy 4 and 6. Um 5 and 6, I'm sorry, playing with the JRPG trope. So 6 is let's take the joke villain who's subservient to the main guy with Kefka. I don't think they translated it as Exodus until um Final Fantasy 12 is a summon. A lot of the old Final Fantasy bosses are summons in 12. Are you serious, Kami? <laughs> uh, they're taking the, the shipping aspect. They're turning it up to 11. A lot of vehicles in this game pretty quickly. Oh, that's cool, Kami. I'm excited, I'll play it on stream. And good DS games, right as they come out. <laughs> oh, that's cool, Joe Man. I just saw your thing about your wife streaming. Uh... The first American Fire Emblem. I'll have to check that out. Save, now that we got a cool boat. I like how in this universe, like, fire crystal fueled steamships came before wind powered ships. Although, isn't the wind dead because the wind crystal blew up? Whatever. Hey, Gogums, how's it going, man? Um, let's go check out that suspicious as hell at Crescent Island, huh? An enemy, huh? Isn't that like a speech given by a priest? It's not like Brits. Isn't that like something that stands out from the rest of the things? Doing alright? You still super busy with school, Rugums? I'm gonna get up to red level 2 and then we'll switch him back to the summoner. Can't do anything with that yet. Check out the cool Crescent Island. Oh, very good. What's the project? Cool, cool. I'll let you be. Good seeing you.
Saving obsessively, that's what we do. Uh oh. Oh cool, my wife had a lab mate who did machine learning. <sighs> Man. Don't sink my ship. Can you not game? Just because this was the most interesting place on the map, punish me like that. Laugh at me, dude. Man, I'm people's kids. What's up with that? Just remember to stop in every inn and pub to play the pianos. Nothing else. Yeah, it's cool, you can get him to change what he talks about. The black chocobo theme in this game is really cool. Has a little guy going like, huh! I like when uh, these older systems tried to do like human voices for sound effects. You know, one of the first games to do that was in Sinistar, it's an arcade game. Welcome to your doom. Mm -hmm. That's super cool. Um, my wife's physics buddy who specializes in machine learning could do a lot with that. You couldn't do manually. Oh, not your passion. Interesting. Now let's buy one of each of those, I'm not going to use them, but... Let's see if they're upgrades, I guess. No, it is an upgrade, alright. In that case... I think Plumed was an upgrade though, was it? Okay. <laughs> I'm happy with that then. soon. I'll wait to buy those until we actually have the job unlocked, because we might get some of them for free along the way. Stone-like monsters are weak against a soft item. Huh, maybe I need more softs then. How many do I have? Just two? Yeah, let's, let's get ten of all of the status healing items. They're quite a bit more useful in this game than a lot of the Final Fantasies. We have the extra money. <laughs> it's just the, uh, the area that you've chosen to specialize in. Joe man, I don't know if it's you gotta, you gotta think of knowledge as you know depth and breadth. There, I'm sure that there are people who can you know write machine learning algorithms that don't know hardware. For the longest time, I was really good with uh, coding and software, but I was like terrified to open up my computer case. You know, everybody brings something good to the table. I don't think it's a it's a competition who's whose knowledge is better. have all these. Way to not have interesting spells, lady. This game explores just about every possible archetype. Like, okay, this one can fly over mountains, but it has to pick up and land in forests. Got it. Roger.
right. extinct. They skipped the hook. Damn it. Oh, sweet. <laughs> oh, good. I was going to say. Bard and Ranger, probably. Hunter, for sure. Shwick de Quip. Hear that sweet song. Here we go. <laughs> I love the island steel drum style. This is one of my favorite Chocobo themes. We'll write him again in a sec. I'm gonna go buy some of that, uh, bar junk. Hunter can be pretty good too, if I remember correctly. Start with Bard. You a Qua man or a work man? I think I'm a Qua man. I know work is older, but Qua is less irritating sounding. <laughs> Let's equip you. I'm not sure what the deal is with his songs, but I'm sure we'll find out soon enough. It's not soon enough. Right. Schedule update in one hour. We're switching to Okami. Two to four. And then from four to six, it's Mass Effect 2. New game. Carrying over our Shepard from the end of Mass Effect 1. Continuing with uh, viewer decisions. Nice, Joe, man. I'm sure what theme is one of the first songs I learned on piano. Let's go, let's hear that huh sound. Yeah. Oh, right, and this one is able to do mountains, but must land in um, forests. I think that's where it wants us to go. Let me explore elsewhere first. The dragon can land anywhere, but can't go over mountains. So I'm gonna go over the snow capped mountains. We've been here before. I'm checking for places. This is on the way to Karnak? Question mark? Yeah, so we'll try checking that top left corner. Let's we'll see if there's any towns we can go to that aren't the way forward. We'll do that later, I think. I don't think this is the way forward. I'll save outside just in case. So we've had many vehicles in the game. We sort of we got Boko as a chocobo, then we get the Silva ship, then we get the dragon, then we get the steamship briefly, and then we have the black chocobo. So that's five. We're not very far into the game yet. This song's sweet too. Oh, that'd be really cool, Kami. I'd really love to hear a version of the five one. Is it going to be a black chocobo that you fly, or are you going to be able to upgrade your normal chocobo too? Did not get the healing staff, no. Where do I go for that? Which part of the world?
run around the far back. Story falls. Ooh, those are expensive as hell. Jorb's flame, Jorb's water, and zombie nature. That makes sense, Kami. Near the first meteor? Okay. Oh man, a monster that looks like an old man wanders in the forest of the east. We're going straight there after this. What attitude? Poor bard guy. Thanks, man. Appreciate the hot tip. Mm -hmm. Talking about a uh, Lena. Tycoon? Cool. Rama! Ramu, I guess. Ugh. I think he's particularly weak against any kind of magic, but... Don't think that's gonna work on him. Do that burner. 14 is great. Big, big fan. We're around level 41 right now. Fairly far into the game. Having a good time. Ramu. It is right now, I think it goes up to 60 when the expansion comes out. The dungeons are the most fun, for me at least, right now. I have a really great time with those. I already used it, it didn't work. He's like, oh, Rama, I guess you're on their side. Is it a chance burner, or do, maybe do I have to be in the summoner class? I need him to be in the summoner class. It could be that among other things. I'm not gonna save again just in case like it tracks that I ran away. Hopefully it doesn't. I'll switch uh, Galef to be a summoner proper. Bard's not particularly useful right now. I don't have enough uh, songs. We'll keep trying to learn them though.
finish getting him to Red Mage level 2, maybe we'll work on that after this round. Make a save in the second slot. Sure, yeah, I have it. Could have been because it was a back attack too. I mean, who knows? We'll see. Do not have ice three yet. That didn't do it. Try it, Shiva. guarantee she'll still be able to fight. Don't think uh, ice and electric have any kind of interaction. Electric's usually not weak against anything except earth. We don't have Titan, so... Unless if you're playing Final Fantasy X, where water and electric are opposed. Ouch. Titan fight was pretty great. <laughs> I'll, uh... I'll throw a timestamp on it on YouTube. It might be expiring soon on uh, Twitch. Full on health. He's doing most of the damage. Healed mm -hmm. Lena back up. I like her being able to survive a direct hit to the face from Bolt 2. Try to do a cure two on everybody next. There it is. Here's the timestamp for our Titan fight in fourteen. You wanted to check it out. Alright! Got Rama. Exciting stuff. We have to use it though.
Yeah, that's the ticket. Cool. Stay at the inn. Anyone else having stream lockup issues? Hey, welcome back to your act. Talk to whichever she I want. Oh man. Mm, okay, thanks for checking. Secret tunnel. Great. Might be a summon? No, it's something though. There it is. Black magic. Gotcha, border. Scoot back a bit. Yep, and up and going over a burner. I think I know where the progress spot is. I'm gonna try to hit everything else first. First, I'm going to whatever town I'm headed to right now. Toad's a black mage in this game. Frog Song is a blue mage ability that afflicts everybody. Nice border. It's a cool song, too. Really good soundtrack in this game. The song is called The Town Where I'm From, or something like that. Or Home Sweet Home. Not as good as a Final Fantasy VII snowboarding game. Oh man, free stay at the end is never a free stay at the end. Yep, you're good. I knew what you meant. You have two abilities in this game to turn people into toads. Dorgan and Stella. Way to, like, bring your sad on my sad, Ferris. Use a little sympathy here, Leela. Okay. 
yeah, dude. So how close is the Bard Artifact gear in Final Fantasy XIV to this Bard incarnation? Or is it closer to the, like, Edward from Final Fantasy IV version? Can you, can you teach me your music? Ocarina. Music box is great. Probably more than you need for streaming, Porter. AMA, how's it going? When you get on the plane. Andrew, you gotta check this out. This is so cool. Um, we were playing Final Fantasy VI, which is the game where you get a Moogle in your party, and uh, at one point, the Moogle Mog kept casting the death spell, which has like, I don't know, 50% chance to succeed, and succeeded at casting it like 20 times in a row. So I was like, oh man, Mog is death incarnate. Somebody should draw that. And Kami's wife drew that imager link I just posted um, at request. Very good. I might put on a t shirt. Uh oh. Why did the why did the music box music go away? So sad. <laughs> Death Mog. Lots of flashbacks in this town. So the Butts his dad's about to leave, and then, bam. Andrew, your cat's sitting over here moping next to me. Let's see if I can show you. So mopey. He sits next to me and just does this and sits and stares at me and like, why aren't you feeding me mode? Fix the height on that. Oh no! Yeah, pretty scholarly to me, man. Secret girlfriend. If you want your senpai to notice you, you gotta you gotta say speak up, girl. Sorry, T Rock. <laughs> Andrea hasn't seen her kitties in about a week. 
figured I'd... Or preview. Kunai! God, shurikens are expensive as hell. I think they do a lot of damage. Hmm. You're expensive as hell. Save some money. Green Beret, which we already have one. It's gonna own. Sure, let's just get one. Really? The Kunai isn't an upgrade? Agility buff, but yeah, the damage is not not an upgrade. Ben, can you not? Cool. Cat hype indeed. I don't have thief turned on right now, so. <laughs> as he is wont to do, it's Chaos Incarnate over here. May as well be named Loki. Love that. There we go. We've already been here. Where was the healing staff burner? You said it wasn't super far. Getting a rename card for my cat. Uh, yeah, Andrea, do you want a Togo sandwich? over to Togo's in my way. Huh. <laughs> Get it out to his list of middle names. Benedict Timothy Kittleton uh, Loki Cumbercat. So this is where we need to be for the plot to move forward. So I'm going to go there just yet. Yep, I got you, Andrew. Will do. Okay, so I have checked all of the locations on the right side of the map. Tycoon Castle, okay. Yes, it is. Dylan Matthias is my middle name. So named for the. I don't know, it's like a. The guy who was supposed to replace Judas. Hey, Karita, how's it going? Exactly, Kami. It's not like I'm abandoning some age-old pattern that he's going to respond to. He doesn't care. Pure town. This castle. Yeah, and with that, I think you have enough information. I'm the only Dylan Matthias probably in existence. I'm sure you can deduce my last name via Google. Um, I don't really care. Wait, Tycoon. Derek Thomas is a good you're in trouble name. There were four pillars here before, now three of the crystals are broken. I'll leave it to you to puzzle out for my first and middle, I don't think anyone else has that combination. 
talking about me. We'd be like, go to Ben while he's sitting at the window and be like, Ben, 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 Lana, Lana. Oh, this is Tycoon Castle. But this was Progress, but I think Progress is actually further south. Let's like over to the west in that area, so I can see it coming here. Yeah, Joe Man, they use, um. Pretty sure it's the same system for credit checks. Yep. Actually, I've got several people in stream. Anyone who's donated, I know their last name because of that. Kind of a. I don't know if it's an oversight by, um. PayPal. It's not a big deal, like. I don't think anyone in chat's gonna dox me or send a SWAT team to my house. Oh, Zeno, like Zeno to drugs. I don't know about this Chancellor. I don't know, I ain't never met no Chancellor. Nice coming. I'm pretty sure I'm the only person with my full name. Andrew does not share my last name. Something something patriarchy. Also, she'd already published under her maiden name. Also, she likes her maiden name. Yeah, I don't really care either. Dill Matthias Zeno's DMZ, like demilitarized zone. Yeah, I get that pretty often. I uh, I mark the year that I grew up when I stopped correcting people if they mispronounce my last name. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Just care that you try. What's up, Lena girl? Yep. You'd be at the end if you switched. Ferris is secretly a princess. Princess pirate. Oh shit! Princess pirate! Andrew and I have a friend, well, two friends, a couple that are recently got pregnant and they had a baby gender reveal party and somebody else threw the party for them and like put in the event details on Facebook like are they going to be buying pirate stuff or tea parties and I was like man why can't if it's a little boy why can't a little boy have a tea party and why can't a little girl be a badass pirate like why not both and Ferris is evidence of that she's a pirate princess cool border <laughs> nice D-Rock D Rock is DTF. Mm. <laughs> this song <laughs> cracks me up. Awesome, Amy. Oh, I think Ferris is, I would call her a pirate princess, rather than princess pirate. It's like, uh, Law and Order, are you, a, are you a black man who's a lawyer, or are you a lawyer who's black? I'd say Ferris is a pirate who also happens to be a princess. Yeah, I'm right here. Dan, don't talk about me in the third person. That's funny, D-Rock. In your case, the your initials existed before the acronym. Like, I'm sure there's someone out there whose initials are LOL.
Uh, let's put on... I'm gonna walk slower, I'm putting on passages. I feel like castles are the kind of places that have secret passages, you know? Get dash back later. I just want to get dual wield on Ninja and then we'll switch her to a perma thief, or at least a thief until she uh, masters it. Well, Tribus, welcome. I would be more shocked if an anime didn't exist about pirate princesses than if one did. Man, I am... Okay, fine. That's how you want to do it. seen any secret passages but payoff will come later. That's a pretty good deal, Porter. Well my computer for about a thousand dollars all things put together. Oh god, which game, Joe Man? Did you die again in the uh, Witcher? Is it cool? mode 7 effect here where like the background moves at a different speed you know how the background is scrolling at a different speed than uh, the foreground <laughs> couldn't have done that with the NES but it improves the illusion that the background is actually further away these are the kinds of things that you need to I think it's important to appreciate and to teach people from the newer generations to appreciate the artistry that goes into making games. Can't go talk to the king because of some goofy arcane rules, fine. There's a lot of pleasant vistas in this, uh, this kingdom. Schedule update in 30 minutes. We're switching to Okami. Which we're nearing the end of the game. I think there's just one brush technique left. I don't know if we're going to beat it today, though, because I haven't played it before. So I don't know how long it is. Um, but we're certainly quite a ways along. And then from 4 to 6, get hype. It's Mass Effect 2. Picking up right where we left off in Mass Effect 1 using the same character. Continuing to have major decisions made by chat. Hell yeah, I'll take anything that would be used to me. It's basically everything. Secret tunnel. What's up, Chance Bro? Ooh. She's supposed to be a ninja, right? Because we're getting her katana. Oh, that must be for a samurai. Fine. Thanks, bro. Bell for the geomancer, and then he gave me the healing staff. I think it just lets you hit your allies to heal them, so I'll give that to Galef. No, I can't. I'll move it along around later, and then... Um... The bell might be nice. Yeah, I've heard good things about Wonderful 101, so I'll be, uh... I'll play it eventually. Good Wii U game. 
Yeah. Well, you, this is the only one where you have an ability to find them. Or I think you just have to poke around, right? <laughs> They're pretty easy to find in Bravely Default as well. It kind of brings back the old school Final Fantasy feel in those games. That one is just like, okay, I know there's always going to be at least one in every dungeon. <laughs> uh, Joe, are you above cheating to win? Like, putting in a console command to get you past this one fight? Since the alternative is reloading? I don't think I can get to that yet. Excuse me. I think I oh shit. I think I could have gotten there if I had gone there instead of the Crescent Island when I had the boat. Oh, I guess I can still can. Just have to walk. About as far as if I had the boat, so it's fine. Bio Soldier, I'm about to ask, wonder why they're called that. Bio is super strong in Final Fantasy 4 and 5, and then it kind of got junked in 6 onward. Ben, can you not? <laughs> right, Kami. Bomb hype. Cool. Switch him back to Red Mage till he gets Red Mage 2. We can use uh, Cure 2, which would be convenient. Kingdoms of Amalur was uh, produced by Bioware. Not like made by them. They helped fund it and get it out there. Jacol. Plot of the longest strike kingdom of Lanka. I sure can. Hey, Flare Wang, how's it going, man? Flarewing, did you see Bravely Second was announced? The US, it's happening. Oh, I think this is, they do a fourth wall break here. You in front of the TV, you too. One more time. I can't spin that fast. 
for him. Huzzah! Cool. Yeah, I was worried that it wasn't coming after Dragon Quest. Um, okay, I got better at the piano. Yeah, so I might do a Dragon Quest 8 playthrough separate from my wife's playthrough um, when it comes out for 3DS. That one I can put on a schedule and we can have a YouTube recording of the whole thing. And then Andrea will just keep playing it on her own time whenever she gets around to playing it. Let's see. Lightning Sword. I like that they're selling this. Mage Masher. Not enough money. And, oh, that's right, you get Dragoon in this game. As you should. Come back for more of that later. Oh, he really doesn't need that. It's gotta go to Chick Ferris. There we go. Go try to find this cave and get some money. Money, 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 money. Hey, Ryan, let's go, man. Uh, I hear you flaring. Have all these. Yeah. Lately, all the magic shops have been catch up on the magic that you didn't buy yet. <laughs> Jammin, Zendari, welcome. Uh, totally looks like that should be a secret. Yes, of course. She's a much busier nerd. <laughs> She's got lots of uh, physics work to do, but every now and then she'll pop on the stream. She usually gives me about eight hours notice. Cool, Ryan. Congrats again. It's good to be done with high school. It's not a period of my life that I look back on fondly. Hey, Jayon, how's it going? Nice. Okay, so, word around the offices. There's an enemy in here that's pretty decent for getting AP. It might be these guys. Defense and death move. Nice parry, Lena. Uh, I think it is exclusive to the new 3DS. <laughs> I believe that that's true. Nice, Jan. Hey, Sis, good to see you again. Seriously? They like to keep everybody responsible for one another or something? Oh, this song is pretty cool. <laughs> but then again, Joe Man, um, you know, you don't necessarily need to go to college to do something good with your life. I couldn't afford college and had the whole problem of where. Although my parents didn't make very much money, I couldn't apply as an independent until I turned 25, or it was basically already too late. 
Um, trade schools are a good option too. Schools do a bad job of selling trade schools off. Like my sister did that for cosmetology. I know somebody went on to be a plumber and electrician. Cool, Ryan. Where am I up to in Final Fantasy V? I am... I have the third crystal for jobs, so I have Bard and Ninja and Hunter and G-Mancer and Mediator. So still pretty early in the game, maybe, I don't know, 20% of the way through the game? That's how we open that. Cool, Ryan. Hey, Ben. So I moved the camera earlier to show you my cat sitting here begging for food. He's in exactly the same spot. Still staring at me. Yeah, so I have this as a blind playthrough, Sis, but blind is in quotes because uh, I played it around 1998 when Final Fantasy VII was released, because I was a huge fan of Final Fantasy IV and VI, which we then know as two and three for the Super Nintendo. When I heard that Final Fantasy VII was being released, I was like, what the hell? What happened to four, five, and six? Found out about five and played it on an emulator, but given that that was like 17 years ago, a child could have been born and grown into adulthood in the time since I last played Final Fantasy V, so it's basically a blind playthrough for me. Um... Huh! Yo, you got a huh. It's not an option. Isn't there a rare monster in there that one-shots you? I had anthologies, for some reason I didn't play 5 again on it. I don't remember why. I don't think we can go through here yet, but I think it's where we ultimately need to go. Later, Gogums. Have fun. Yeah, but I could put Forgotten Playthrough in, uh, in the title. People don't really know what that means. Unless if that's a, that's a thing that I don't know about. I haven't seen anyone use that terminology. Steamship. Just build another one. Okay. What? Say what? Chronicles was what? Final Fantasy IV and Chrono Trigger, right? I seem to have remember dying a lot in the quicksand desert. I think that four was with Chrono Trigger. Chrono Trigger was in a Final Fantasy collection. PSX. Let's see if we can get Gala unlocking red two and switching back to a summoner or something. Nice burner. Oh, that reminds me, I'm excited to play uh, Batman Arkham Asylum on stream at some point. I haven't played any of the other ones, just the first one. That was the first stealth game where I felt like they did it right, where like, you can choose to stealth, but if you fail, you're still Batman. It's just a question of how cool you are. Hey Leon, how's it going? No, there were, there were two games with very similar titles. There was Final Fantasy Chronicle that had four in Chrono Trigger. And there was Final Fantasy Anthology that had 5 and 6. I had both of them, and most people I knew who wanted one got the others, so... God. Yeah, that's what I've heard, Kami. <laughs> it seems like a cool game. 
kind of an Elseworlds idea. No. I feel like I remember this fight being hard, so... Let me see, how far is he away from... Let's grind out the job points necessary to get Galef to level 2 Red Mage. We'll pop into that cave again. Then we'll come back. And then I think we'll do that for 9 minutes and then switch up to Okami. Followed by Mass Effect 2 at 4 o'clock Pacific. Absolutely get hype. Stroll down south. Huh. Yeah, sand monsters tend to be weak against water or ice. Good, D Rock. Actually, I did get Aqua Breath from um, Aqualung from the Chimera. I had a suspicion, D Rock. Good call. Getting there in 20 more points. So I think I'll go ahead and do this sandworm fight. It might take us a couple minutes over time since I'm trying to get Galof to level 2 first. That's, they call it Aqua Rake in this translation. It's been Aqua Rake, Aqua Breath, and Aqua Lung, depending on which Final Fantasy you're playing. I think Aqua Lung is the official, like if they went back and retranslated this, they'd call it that. What's happening here? Something's something fishy's happening. Hold on, guys. I just got a GeForce experience update. I'm wondering if it has something to do with that. Uh, it's cool, Sis. If you have an idea, you can just ask. Like, if you say, "Hey, do you want me to tell you where this thing is?" That's cool. Just go for it. Let me know. Give me, give me a heads up before you do is all that I ask. Thank you for asking in the first place. Some people don't even do me that courtesy. I know the game is slowing down. I think it's this GeForce update that started running. Like it popped up and I clicked close and it was like, oh, okay, I guess I'm going to go anyway. See if I can save state and reload if that would fix it. One sec. I did save outside fairly recently. Give me one minute. Yeah, that fixed it. Weird. Learning the fights blind in Final Fantasy XIV is a great time. I think there's some trick to which of these switches you hit in order to open that door. That's the one that gives lots of AP, but it can one-hit kill you. Okay, so we already did that one wrong. Yeah, I'm excited for Dark Souls. This game's version of the Metal Slime, but actually a threat. Is there something I can use to kill this guy easily? Oh, I bet I can use a uh, Soft on him, huh? Because he's made of stone? Somebody gives you a hint about that. No, maybe not. He's not really made of stone. <laughs> running, 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 running. 
Do I need to get like a blue magic? Like, shit. Ouch. <laughs> so much for that plan. I think we saved right outside though. It's not too far back. Why don't we just try this boss fight real quick? Ben, can you not rub your face on the webcam? That would be great if you wouldn't do that. <laughs> uh, let's just try this fight. I'll make Galef into a blue mage real quick. We'll give it a shot and then we'll switch over to Okami. It's only a flesh wound. Coin toss. Let's sigh. I do have Shiva, yep. I've got Shiva and Ifrit. Level 5 death was my guess. It's usually the way to cheese fights like that. Unwise to use magic against Sandworm. Appreciate the tip, guys. I don't remember if magic sword counts as magic, or if blue magic counts as magic, so... I was about to find out. This game has a nice difficulty curve. A lot of Final Fantasies struggle with actually staying difficult. Great. Look how sweet the blue mage outfit is. It's like a superhero. Damn, kid! Man, I need to travel back in time until Kidmar said that trick. <laughs> I'm pretty... I, I have a loose memories of this game, but I certainly remember wiping on the sandworm several times. One shot. God, I hope they add Blue Mage to Final Fantasy XIV one day. I'd play the shit out of that class. My favorite class in Final Fantasy XI. Alright, it's Okami time. Guys, give me a sec while I boot up the... Uh, glad my glasses so that I can see it. Boot up the PS3. One shot, one kill. Cats, just because I got up doesn't mean that I'm feeding you. These two things are not necessarily intertwined.